Imagine a quiet, serene morning suddenly shattered by an unexpected discovery. In the heart of Navi Mumbai, where high-rises stretch towards the sky and life pulses with an unending rhythm, a public park serves as the city's green lung. It's a place of tranquility, where children play, lovers whisper sweet nothings, and the elderly enjoy a leisurely walk. But on this particular morning, the park's peaceful ambiance is cruelly disrupted. A gruesome spectacle unfolds. A lifeless body found in an unlikely place. The crime scene is an enigma wrapped in a riddle. There's an eerie stillness, a chilling silence that seems to swallow up the usual park sounds. The body, life brutally snuffed out, lies in a pool of crimson, a stark contrast against the lush green grass. The victim's terrified expression, frozen in a silent scream, adds a haunting quality to the scene. But what makes this crime scene truly unique is not the location, not the brutality of the act, but a mysterious code. A cryptic message scrawled in a hasty hand left behind by the killer. It's a puzzle, a conundrum that seems to mock the very essence of law and order. It's as if the killer is playing a twisted game, challenging the police, daring them to decipher the code and catch him. The news of the crime sends a shiver down the city's spine. Fear grips the heart of Navi Mumbai, its residents left to wonder who could be next. The usually bustling city seems to hold its breath, waiting, watching, as the police scramble to make sense of the baffling crime scene. A life brutally taken, a cryptic message left behind, and a city gripped by fear, the stage was set for a crime story that would baffle everyone. With the city in panic and a killer on the loose, the only lead was a puzzling code. This was no ordinary message, it was a perplexing riddle, an intricate puzzle left behind by the killer as if playing a cruel game of cat and mouse with the police. It was as if the killer was taunting them, challenging them to decipher the hidden meaning within the cryptic symbols and letters. The code was a riddle wrapped in a mystery, a jigsaw puzzle with pieces missing, a labyrinth with no clear exit. Each symbol, each letter, each number seemed to hold some significance, some hidden meaning that could lead the police closer to the identity of the killer. But the code was elusive and the killer even more so. The police were relentless in their efforts to crack the code. They brought in expert cryptographers, linguists and code breakers. They worked round the clock, poring over every detail, examining every possibility. The code became an obsession, a puzzle that needed to be solved, a key that could unlock the identity of the killer, but the code remained a mystery. Days turned into nights and nights turned into days, but the answer eluded them. The tension in the city grew with each passing day. The fear was palpable, the panic tangible. The city was held hostage by a killer who seemed to be always one step ahead. As the police struggled with the code, the public watched with bated breath. The media went into a frenzy speculating about the code, the killer, the victims. The city was on edge waiting for the next move of the killer, waiting for the code to be cracked. But the code was stubborn, refusing to yield its secrets. The police were stumped, frustrated at their inability to crack the code to stop the killer. The city was in a state of high alert, a city held captive by a code, a city in the grip of fear. As the days passed, the code remained unsolved, the killer remained at large and the city remained in fear. Just when it seemed like the case was going cold, a breakthrough was around the corner. The investigation, until now, was a perplexing maze of dead ends and false leads. The mysterious code was proving to be an insurmountable obstacle. But as is often the case in such mysteries, help arrived from an unexpected quarter. A local school teacher, an avid fan of puzzles and riddles, got wind of the code. Intrigued by the challenge, he threw himself into the task of deciphering it. Days turned into nights as the teacher pored over the cryptic symbols. His classroom became a makeshift investigation hub. The blackboard filled with scribbles and theories. And then, one late evening as the sun dipped low, casting long shadows in the room, it happened. The solution clicked into place. The teacher, ecstatic and breathless, rushed to the police station with the decoded message in hand. His eyes sparkled with the thrill of the chase, the satisfaction of having cracked the code. The code was a riddle, a macabre riddle that pointed to the location of the next clue. The police, a mix of relief and renewed determination on their faces, immediately organized a team to follow this new lead. The location was an old abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of the city. The air was thick with anticipation as the team approached the ominous building. The warehouse, it seemed, had been untouched for years, its walls echoing with secrets waiting to be unearthed. Inside, a chilling discovery awaited them. 
The clue, a significant piece of evidence, promised to propel the investigation forward. It was a tangible link to the elusive murderer, a sign that they were on the right track. The tide was finally turning. The once impenetrable fog of mystery was starting to clear. The police were hot on the killer's trail, their resolve stronger than ever. The city held its breath, waiting for the next chapter in this gripping saga. With the code finally solved, the police were one step closer to the killer, but would they catch him in time? The chase was on. With the code cracked and the clue in hand, the police were hot on the killer's trail. The city of Navi Mumbai held its breath as a thrilling pursuit unfolded. The stakes were high and every second counted. The cryptic code had led them to the outskirts of the city, to a place that seemed ordinary but was anything but. The police raced against the clock, navigating narrow alleyways and crowded streets. The tension was palpable, the atmosphere electric. The adrenaline surged as they closed the distance, inching closer and closer to the killer's hideout. The hunt was nearing its climax and the suspense was almost unbearable. The trail had been a twisted one, a labyrinth of clues and codes, but now it was all coming to a head. The police were closing in, the net was tightening, the city waited with bated breath, hoping for a resolution to the gruesome series of crimes that had held them in a grip of fear. As the police approached the killer's location, the air became charged with anticipation. The moment of truth was at hand. The officers steeled themselves ready for whatever might come. They had one goal in mind, to apprehend the killer and bring him to justice. And then, in a dramatic showdown, it happened. The killer, cornered and outmanned, was finally apprehended. The city exhaled a collective sigh of relief. The nightmare was over. The code cracking, the chase, the tension-filled moments, it had all led to this. The enigmatic killer who had sent the city into a frenzy with his cryptic code was now in custody. In a dramatic showdown, the killer was finally apprehended, bringing an end to the city's nightmare. With the killer behind bars, the city breathed a sigh of relief. It was the conclusion of a bewildering tale that had gripped the city of Navi Mumbai for weeks. Our story begins with a chilling crime, a life abruptly ended and the eerie silence that followed. The crime scene left investigators puzzled, bereft of any substantial leads, but it was the mysterious code, a cryptic message left by the killer, that truly set this case apart. The code was a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a labyrinth of letters and numbers that seemed to make no sense. The city's finest minds were stumped, the code's meaning hidden behind a veil of complexity. But it was this very code that would eventually lead to the killer's capture. As investigators delved deeper, they discovered the code was not just a random assortment of characters. It was a map, a set of coordinates pointing to the exact location of the next victim. It was a chilling game, a macabre dance between the killer and the police. The chase that ensued was nothing short of thrilling, a race against time as the police tried to decipher the code and prevent the next crime. It was a test of wit and will, a battle between the darkness and the light. And in the end, it was the light that prevailed. With the killer's capture, the city of Navi Mumbai breathed a collective sigh of relief. The streets were safe once more, the shadows less menacing. But the memory of the crime and the cryptic code lingers, a chilling reminder of the darkness that once loomed. And so we wrap up this gripping tale, a story of a crime, a code and a chase. A story that took us on a roller coaster of emotions, from the depths of horror to the heights of relief. A story that reminded us of the power of persistence and the triumph of good over evil. In the end, the code was cracked, the killer was caught, and the city of Navi Mumbai was safe once more. A chilling reminder that sometimes the most gripping stories are the ones that unfold right in our backyard.